Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, do I need to work in a TDD manner? So let's get into it. Well, this is a loaded question. Well, I'm not going to say it's a loaded one, but it's um, it's one of those... It's a political question and it's one of those questions where I can think back to my own start in in software development and remember that when I was taught how to do software development, basically when I was going through my education, every single person around me, every tech talker, my teachers, all, all the people around me were saying that TDD and working in a TDD fashion was the way to do it. Like that's how software works. That's how the, that's how the industry works. And I'm here to tell you that it is a big fat lie the biggest, fattest lie in all of IT, I would say. It's up there with that accessibility and that that matters for AI, that you should always, always test your code with a screen reader. It's up there with that, you know, agile practices is the only way to do things. And, and oh, I would say that this is a bigger, bigger lie than that. But it is one of those big lies. I would say it's um, the best way I can describe it is that people will talk about TDD as if it is something that everybody does. And it's, I can make the analogy to kids brushing their teeth for at least twice a day. It is something that every parent and every child knows that they should be doing, but not everybody does it. You should always clean your, clean your room. You know you should do it, but you don't. And that is exactly how TDD is as well in every single company, almost no exclusions. There is almost no company out there that enforces TDD, that you have to work in a TDD fashion. And if you think about it, how would they enforce it? Like how, how could a company possibly enforce that every developer works in a TDD fashion? Unless they have somebody who's sitting next to you, watching over your shoulder, they won't know how your process works, your personal process, because this is what TDD is. You basically work on something, and depending on how you define TDD, if you really want to go through the semantic exercises, then you should always write your test first and then write the code. How would you test that unless you have some form of tech lead or like a team lead, a person who is literally responsible to make sure that you abide by these rules? Most people, like most companies have some form of automated testing, but that is not the same thing. Like having a unit test is not the same thing as working in a TDD fashion. And that's a semantic difference that you may not really, like you really have to go into the semantics of what TDD actually means and the benefits of working in that fashion actually is for you to understand those differences. Because if you write your test after you have written your logic, then you by definition haven't worked in a TDD fashion. Because in TDD you actually always write the test first. And quite a lot of developers don't think that this is an effective way of working. And it's very hard to... It's hard to prove that it is an effective way of working. If you think like the arguments for it are strong and they are logic and logical and so forth, but at the end of the day, you have to weigh these benefits against the cost to the developer's process. It's similar to a it's a it's a return on investment type of deal, right? If you force people to work in a TDD fashion, you may get some type of benefit from it, but it's very hard to measure for you the cost of doing this and how if because it's not possible to always effectively do this and there are tons of people out there who are purists who will say that oh no what are you saying Frederick it's so simple if you can't write a unit test then you should just rewrite your code and then the code is bad and I kind of go yeah but that's life it sucks but some code or depending on your situation it can be it's it doesn't have to be the code that you are writing right now it might be the be the case that somebody else wrote code five years ago didn't do a test driven development approach to things and now you are forced into a situation where either you have to ship today or you can ship today or you can rewrite the entire system or the entire feature and ship in a month and then if you go to your boss and ask you know if we're going to do tdd that's what it's going to take here you see it's just a it's it's an idealistic mindset and that's the problem with TDD that 
unless you do it 100% all the time for everything, then you cannot possibly guarantee. And even if you do that, I mean, it's, it's, a, big, it's a big investment. It's, it's, it's a similar investment to saying that you're going to have 100% unit test coverage. No same system has it. It's an ideal. So in many ways, in many ways, the same thing is true for just working in that fashion. Working in a TDD fashion does not equal that you have better code. It is just a, the theory is that it's likely to improve the quality of your tests and by then extension, the quality of your code. But if, since it's a personal process type of thing, it's very hard for you to force people to do it. So what I want you to take away from this is that TDD and being forced to work in a TDD fashion is a big fat lie. There is no company in the industry that forces or rather there are very few companies who will enforce that you use TDD and that you work that way. You may, have, you may work in a team where you have people who sing, think that we should work in that fashion. Usually, and this is actually, I will just warn you now, having, being, a bit, being very religious about TDD and the working is one of the quickest ways to figure out if somebody is a junior or a more experienced developer. It's actually kind of funny because this is one of those, it's a religious type of thing where um, it's very, very, you very quickly see if people understand what test-driven development is actually about and the value of having unit tests are, or if they just read the book. It's religious fundamentalism versus, you know, regular people. It's, uh, or a more pragmatic people. And I'm just warning you there, because trust me when I say this, very few people in IT do test-driven development the way it's supposed to work. And it's very unlikely that you would be expected do, to do it and to do it as well. The only thing that is a good, very good rule to have with you is that some features require unit testing. You should have unit testing, but not all of IT has unit tests for everything. And very few companies would, would ever, ever force you to work in a TDD fashion, especially not if it stands between your productivity and shipping features versus following a set of rules that was pl were placed, is put in place by people speaking from an, from an idealistic case. Have a great day.